Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. To all the Ripper Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers, welcome back to a new video on Ripright HD. And today we'll be going over different exercises you can do while in the pool or a jacuzzi. So guys, I was on vacation and salute to Miami, man. They treated me so nice. This was a while back and I haven't put this video out. So guys, if you want to see these exercises, please stay tuned for the next clip. And if you own a ripstick, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, it floats. It's water resistant. You can bring it anywhere. You can do these exercises on a plane, a train, a bus. I don't care where. It's the pocket rocket. So guys, if you own a ripstick, please Right in the description or in the comments below your testimony, please, of how good it works. And if you don't own a ripstick, please check the comments because I know everyone who owns a ripstick and see this video is going to really, really turn up in the comments. So, guys, thanks for all the love and the support. We're over $40,000 in sales. So, let's get it to a million. Stay tuned. Stay ripped. Let me say that. The Messenger of Allah والسلام, said, He says that the strong man, the brolic man, the real tough guy, the muscle bound person is not necessarily the strong person. The strong person isn't the one who throws and tosses people, i.e., who has the greatest physical prowess. He's not the real strong man. But the real strong man is he who controls himself at the time of anger. Is he who stays cool, calm, and collective and doesn't lose his temper when someone violates him or transgresses the boundaries or insults him or cuts him off driving or whatever the reason behind people getting angry and upset. So this beautiful hadith that teaches us is that in Islam there is a word or a concept of strength. And it's not necessarily what most people think is strength, physical strength, lifting weights, working out, having the most cut and, you know, chiseled body. But that, in this hadith, it doesn't mean that physical strength has no place in our Islam. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't be fit, that we shouldn't be in shape, that we shouldn't be spiritually, mentally, emotionally strong. It doesn't mean that. And many people, they abuse this hadith, just like many other authentic hadiths they abuse. They say, Shadidu Basura'ati. He says that the strong one is not the one who has the most physical muscles. So the hadith is teaching us to control ourselves, especially at the time in which a person falls victim to his ego. And what better place or what better time in the time of anger. And that's why Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah, he quoted this hadith, Kitab al-Adab, the book of character, the book of good manners, bab ma yuhdharu min al-ghadab, or bab al hadari min al-ghadab, to beware of one's anger. So what happens when you get angry? What do you do? What do you say? How do you get divorced because of anger? You kill someone because of anger. You go to jail for the rest of your life because of anger. You may make a statement of kufr because of anger. So anger is a major, major character flaw in a human being. And it shows the opposite of the physical strength, which is inner weakness. 